Happy Monday, everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Um, I have a little bit of the sniffles. <clears throat> and I am dealing with kind of the backlash from a uh, rapid onset migraine yesterday. <clears throat> it really hit me and... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, frog again, and it, um, it really bowled me over last night, so, anyway, um, so yeah, first of all, there's Miss Twinkle Toes herself, Miss Lily Bell, she's laying over there today, Jonah's up on the sofa, <clears throat> and it's getting to be a very sunny, sunny day, it's supposed to go up to six degrees, We'll see, because I'm not too sure. <clears throat> so, I went up to 340 now. Yes, yes, yes. So, I would like to welcome Jessica Lure to uh, my list of subscribers. Thank you so much, Jessica. And if you like what you see, please um, like... Give me a thumbs up and, <clears throat> excuse me, and share. Oh, share, share, share to your heart's content. So, um, I always welcome more and more and more. <clears throat> so, please tell us a little bit about yourself, Jessica. Who knows? Maybe in the telling, you'll find that there's somebody really close by. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> from our channel. Oh gosh, will this <clears throat> ever end? <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm working on Autumn Lady. <clears throat> and what I have decided is I'm going to continue working with the uh, this rust color down here on the dress, but I'm running low on it. <clears throat> And what I've decided that I'm going to work using Treasure ba Braid by Rainbow Gallery PB01. I'm assuming that they're still made. Now, <clears throat> I bought this one, oh, I don't know how many years ago, 25 years ago or so. And I paid three thirty-five for it. The last time I I got it was at Stitch Heaven, which no longer exists in Edmonton. So it's been twenty years, I would think. And it went up to four fifty-nine. <clears throat> so like everything else, it's all going up. I was watching. Um, I kind of like these. Um, Comparison shopper. Well, not comparison, but people who go around and who um, chat about the um, uh, what's gone up in price, what the grocery stores are like. So this morning I watched a, a piece there on um, uh, from Aldi. Now, we don't have Aldi here. At least not in Manitoba. I don't know if it is in Ontario or in um, um, like BC or something. <clears throat> Perhaps some of you out there will let us know if there's one there. <clears throat> but anyways, here we don't have one. I know in Europe that they have it. But anyway, um, they were showing prices that have gone up and shortages and everything else. And I actually watched another report about how prices are going up in Germany. I don't know about the rest of Europe, but in Germany, prices have increased by 30, 40%, maybe even 50% in grocery stores. I don't know about anywhere else, like if clothes have gone up or whatever. Yeah, 
So everything is going up, people. And it's not going to... It's not going to stop anytime soon. Now, as I was watching this, um, this guy there who was um, um, doing a walkthrough with his wife there at Aldi, I was thinking to myself, you're complaining about those prices? Come to Canada and see our prices. Our prices are even double what yours are, sometimes even triple. So please don't complain about, like, <clears throat> a can of beans, 59 cents. Well, here they're like $1.29, $1.39. Sometimes you can find them where they're on sale, where you have to buy like four or 10 of them or something. And then you may get a little bit of a discount. <clears throat> and, um, but yeah, it's, um, it is not, your, your prices are nothing compared to ours. You know, like, I was just looking at it, like, bread, for 88 cents. Bread for 88 cents. Are you serious? And the guy was complaining because it went from 75 cents to 88 cents for a loaf of white bread. And here, that same loaf of white bread probably costs you $2. Maybe more. You know package of of pasta or um ketchup oh my gosh ketchup like a dollar 49 and here we pay like three or four dollars for it so it's um yeah you know and even if you take the um the price of converting, you know, from U.S. to Canadian dollars, we still pay roughly double what you pay. So consider yourselves blessed, you know, that you're having such good prices, even what you're getting. Even when you see the prices increasing, they're still not as high as here. Now, I guess maybe around Toronto and Vancouver and other big city hubs, the prices are more reasonable. But um, if you want to see what, what prices are like, um, I will willingly send you e-flyers from here you know and we don't have whole foods now they might down in toronto or something but not here in manitoba and um it's just not we pay a lot more here a lot more Oh, I did see, though, that the gas prices had come down two cents. So I paid $1.69 for mine, and now they're down to $1.67 here. But there's one place uh, in Lundar that's selling for $1.63. Now, I don't know if... If the price has gone up, but that's what it says on Gas Buddy. So, uh, oh, come on. So, yeah. So, isn't it wonderful? I'm up to 340. I'm up to 340. Can you imagine? Like, oh my gosh. 
Oh, where is it here? I'm trying. To, yeah, here is the one. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm absolutely tickled pink. I am absolutely tickled pink. Yeah, if I can uh, suggest something, don't use the this kind of harder metallic. If you can get the treasure braid or diamond or something like that, you know, then go for this because it's a lot softer and it doesn't fray and so you get more bang for your buck. Okay, and it is... To me, it's a little bit thicker, so I'm only using one strand versus two of the copper, okay? But I'm going to continue with the copper on the dress. So, uh, but I just thought that the gold here would be, would give a little bit more contrast here. So, uh, okay, I'm going to go here, and uh, I'm quite happy, I'm quite happy with this. Oh, I watched um, Moonfall yesterday, and it was pretty good, so I give it like four stars out of five. And the reason why I don't give it five stars is because some of the CGI or computer-generated images are really lacking. Like some of the car chases towards the end. Um, you know, uh, the stuff when they're in... Um, um, on the moon, um, and that, like, it's just, it's too, like, you can really see it, as far as I'm concerned, you can really see it, and that I was a little bit, you know, or when the earth changes really happened, like, it just, it, it was too, obvious so that's why I give it a four out of five now I wonder with Moonfall as it was with the mo movie Don't Look Up okay that um, I wonder you know how close or what they're trying to tell us, you know? Is it that um, something's coming our way? Is it that it's, um, yeah. Uh, is it about meteors? There's a lot of meteors that fell towards the end. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. But Hollywood seems to be always a step ahead. And they will post things or they will make movies about things that has a real grain of truth in it. Okay. So not everything is just, you know, um, make-believe. There is a grain of truth with it, right? Just like every so-called conspiracy theory has, there is some underlying truth to it. And it's for us, us to figure it out. So, 
Yeah. So anyway, um, but yeah, go ahead and watch it if you're a sci-fi fan. I mean, it is funny in places. I got to give you that. And it's, um, it really is, uh, it's a cool movie. But, yeah. But I knew, because they've spoken about this for a very long time, is that when NASA sent a probe there to the moon and it smashed into the surface of the moon, that it rang like a bell. This is just... The, this is something that is well known. Okay. So it shouldn't ring like a bell, which denotes hollowness and it denotes metal and that. So, um, because when something here, um, a meteor or something falls on earth, it doesn't ring like a bell. You know, it's a thud, if you will. But, um, yeah, so, uh, so anyways, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, it, it was good entertainment, but I just, I wonder, you know, how much truth there is in that. Like, what what is Hollywood trying to convey without conveying it? You know. And, uh, but like I said, the CGI stuff really detracted away from it. Like, you can see the obvious difference between that and, um, oh my gosh, um, what was the name? Not Day After Tomorrow. Um, it's the one where Yellowstone blew up. But anyways, um, yeah, it just, um, y you can just tell the difference, right? So, but yeah, but you can find that on Prime, Amazon Prime. So, so yeah, so tomorrow at this time, we will be in Portage. And I'm going to be preparing myself there to, um, have my tooth pulled. I will be happy when it's over. I can tell you that. I will be so happy when it's over. I just... Nope. Nope. Because it will be a hard pull. I can tell you that. Because a wisdom tooth usually is a harder pull. And having one that's convoluted... And I don't know if they're going to have to cut the gum line there to get at the root. Um, because one of the roots is very convoluted. The other one is, uh, on the other side is too, but it's, it's a little bit different. The one on the one side, I don't know which side it is, tell you the truth. But. The one side there, it has one root line that is extremely convoluted. So, yeah. But otherwise, that's it. I'm going to, after this is going to be loading, I'm going to go and wash the dishes. And then I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner out and vacuum. Because I'm not going to be able to over the next, probably till at least Saturday. 
depends on how bad this is, right? Because it was one thing to have it, my top teeth pulled out and being sedated. Um, you know, but when I'm awake and lightly sedated by taking an Ativan, um, I'm still going to be there and I'm still going to feel it and, and everything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, not very good. Not very good. So, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to see maybe if I can do a video today, later on. And then just post it tomorrow when I am in Portage. And, um, yeah, because I might do that. And then we'll see what I'm like on Wednesday. Hopefully I'm doing okay. I'll probably be a little bit swollen on that side and probably a little bit of bruising. And uh, and it'll be a little bit more difficult to talk. So, but I'll be happy to have it out because it's really been bugging me. It's just, it's getting worse every day. And I know I have to get, I have other cavities down on the, the smaller teeth on the bottom, you know, as it's going towards the midline. And um, they have to be done. But I can't afford to get it all done at the same time. Besides that, they don't want me to because it'll be too traumatic on me, you know that I'm just not going to be able to do it. So. So, yeah. So, I will get... I will get the... Um, this wisdom tooth pulled. And then next month, I'll go back. And I will get uh, my teeth fixed. So. But, yeah... So it's wonderful that you've all come to watch me. I am just so thrilled, and I'm sorry my voice is a little bit raspy. And um, it does get that way. It does get that way. So, but like I said, if you like what you see, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And also, <clears throat> um, please share. It's always wonderful to see um, my numbers going up. And you all have been so gracious and kind to me. I can't even express in words how deeply satisfying it is. And honored I feel to have you all as my friends. And it just really, it really makes my heart sing. Oh, there goes a load of hay. That's a Jake break, if you're wondering. And uh, that helps to slow um, the motor down. And... Um, it's better than using like your brakes, your air brakes, because it's a lot less wear and tear. But, um, yeah, I'm liking the look of this. I'm glad I did this here in this rainbow gallery. 
but I also like there that how, just a second, you're back. I always put my needle in my mouth, so that's why you'll hear a pause. <laughs> so, okay. So, I'm going to continue working on here. But the dress here, I'm going to continue working here with this um, russet color, which is E301, okay, DMC. So, I will come down here. I've got all, I've got lots to do here. But I thought it it would look nice here with a little bit of this gold mixed in, you know. So it just, and see, that's the thing. That's what I do. I just, I go along. At first, I started out here with two threads. And I worked along here, and I was just like, I don't know if I like that. So then I decided, no, I'll try it with one. And I like the effect of one better. It seems to sit better. And Rainbow Gallery here, it's um, it's a lot nicer um, than this stiff. Okay. This is stiffer. And so that's why you have to use shorter lengths and it frays more. But Rainbow Gallery doesn't do that. Now, I have the diamond um, thread, too. And I haven't tried that yet. So I may, I may give that a whirl on something and see how that works. But, yeah, but I have more of this. So this is, this is what I'm going to do. So, all right, everyone, here, let me see here if I can show you. Oh, this way, yeah, there. So, well, you can't really see it there because of the sun shining. There. Oh, you can probably still see through it, but hopefully that's a little bit better. But it is coming along. And I think what I'm going to use then is um, I'm going to do, I'm going to work on that B. So, yeah. I'm not dressed today. I'm just not dressed. Oops. Fumble fingers. <laughs> so, oh, I wanted to show you here because many of you have wondered. I have done I hope you can see that see there that is uh, Noel okay so I did that one and this one I did many years ago 2006 okay so I did this one. This one was accounted. This is when I could still do counted. You know. So. Um, yeah. So I've done. I've done that one. So. And I've done that one. That is a Joan Elliott. I've done many of hers. And, uh, yeah, so then I have done this lady. This is my regal lady. That's uh, my own design. And I have done, hi, Lily Bell. And I have done Angel of Love. This was back in 2002. It was accounted for sure. And I did my um, blue nun. So I did that. So, anyways, there's Jonah. There's Jonah. Hi, Jonah. Hi, Jonah. 
Oh, this morning I was looking out my front window right out here. And there was a deer right here, right between these trees here. And um, there was another one close to the road. And then there was, I think, another two over there across. So it was nice to see them out. So, oops, sorry, little bell. So there's Miss Twinkle Toes. So, all right, everyone, that's it from, uh, from me. And here, of course, is my um, Autumn Queen. And this is my Winter Queen. And I really want to do um, the rest of them, too. I don't know when. <sighs> so much to do and so little time. So... Anyways, everyone, I guess that's it. So I will say, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I, and so does Miss Lily Bell and Jonah Sir Wine a lot. And so I guess you'll, I. Well, you'll see me tomorrow, but I don't know if you'll see me. <laughs> Depends on how it goes. So, anyways, talk to you later. Toodaloodles, everybody. Bye.